Good day everyone, I am Arnel and Dulpina and welcome to my podcast. I hope and I believe that you hear me loud and clear. Today, we are going to talk about one of the significant women in history. Let me share to you the one and only mother of the Katipunan. Let us all give a round of applause to no other than Melchora Aquino D. Ramos or known as Tandang Sora because of her age during the Philippine Revolution. At this moment, before we proceed to our main discussion, let us know first who is Melchora Aquino. On far away land in Barrio Banlat, Caloocan, it was January 6, 1812. A female child was born. Her name was Melchora Aquino, the only daughter of Juan and Valentina Aquino, who were a peasant couple in Caloocan. At an early age, Melchor Aquino was noticeably literate and highly intelligent, even though she was never afforded the opportunity to go to school. Aside from being intelligent, Melchor Aquino was also a very talented singer who performed at local events. She is also known for singing at mass. When she became an adult, Melchor married a bill chief named Fulgencio D. Ramos. They had six children. Unfortunately, by the time the youngest of the six children was just seven years of age, Paul Gensio passed away. This left Melchor Aquino to raise her six children. In order to survive, she opened her own store to support her family. So much for that. At this juncture, the most awaited part, why I consider Melchor Aquino as one of the significant women in history. In 1896, Spaniards invaded Philippines, and this was the time when Philippines' revolution, as well as the contribution of Melchor Aquino began. At the time, she was 84 years of age. She used her store as means to provide medical care to the soldiers. She also provided them encouragement through prayers. Melchor Aquino also left her story used for secret meetings. Due to her behind-the-scenes heroic during revolution, she became known as Mother of Katipunan, which was the Philippine word for revolution. When the Spaniard discovered that she was providing medical care and encouragement, they arrested Melchor Aquino and questioned her about Andres Bonifacio, the leader of Katipunan. But as expected, Melchor Aquino Aquino refused to tell the Spaniards anything. She was deported to Marianas Islands. And when United States took control of the Philippines in 1898, Melchora was permitted to return to her home and store. It is undeniable that Melchora Aquino is one of the significant women in history because of her heroic during the revolution. In fact, the name of the district and city road of Quezon City was named after her. Her image also can be seen in 100 peso bill. It is indeed no matter what gender we are, every one of us has its own abilities to contribute in the improvement of the society and to perform our respective responsibilities. Have a good day everyone. Thank you for listening and share this to others of what we have discussed here to empower and encourage them. Mabuhay tayong Pilipino.